Today we're going to rename numbers using place value. So on this first thing here, we're going to rename numbers by regrouping. As you can see over here in our chart, we have what we call base 10 blocks. Base 10 blocks are manipulatives in which we use when we're teaching math. We have a unit over here, which stands for 1. We have a rod or a long that stands for 10. We have a flat, which is made up of 10 rods or longs, which equals 100. And then we have a large cube or block that is made up of 10 flats, which equals 1,000. So, we're going to rename using those. I'm going to draw simple pictures of those blocks to represent these numbers for when we regroup. So the first thing here, we have our first number is 1,400. And we're trying to figure out how many hundreds that is. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a picture of it. So I'm just going to draw in our base 10 format right up here. So because we have a thousand, we are going to have one block. So we're going to have one block, and I'm not sure how well this is going to look coming off of here. Doesn't look too bad, actually. Okay, so we have one block that represents a thousand. And then we have four, a four in our hundreds place here. So we're going to have four flats. So we're going to draw four flats. So as you can see here, we have our block, which is 1,000, and then we have our four flats. Now to rename this into hundreds, we could separate this block into our ten hundreds, or for the sake of argument, I'm just going to write a small ten in there to remind me that that's ten flats. So now if I go ten, and I add these up, and I go, I take my ten, and I go 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm going to get 14 hundreds. So my answer to this first one here is going to be 14 hundreds. 14 hundreds is the same as 1,400. On my second one down here, I'm looking at tens. So... I have 470, and I'm looking at it in 10. So once again, I'm going to use my base 10 blocks up here, and I'm going to draw a picture. 400, if for hundreds, we have our flat. So since I have a 4 in the hundreds place, I'm going to need 4 flats. So I'm going to draw 4 flats. 1, 2, three, four, and then I have a seven in my tens place. So for that, I'm going to draw a long or a rod, and I'm just going to draw it so it looks like a stick, and I'm going to have seven of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now you can see that I have four flats, seven rods. Now I have a zero in the ones column. So because I have a zero in the ones column, I don't need to add any units because I have a zero there. So now I'm going to exchange these into tens, so I need rods. So because I know there's ten, in, ten rods in each one of these, I'm just going to write in my numbers. I'm going to write in that there's ten rods there. 10 rods there, 10 rods there, and 10 rods there, or, or longs, depending on what you want to call it. We have, so then all we have to do is add. So we're going to go 10, we're going to count by 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47. And our answer is then 47 tens. 
Now, there's actually an easier way to look at this. If we look right here at our 47, if we look at the tens column, we have a 7 in the tens column. That tells us that it's going to be 47 tens. We just stopped there. So, for instance, if we had a line here, we find our tens column, we draw a line there and go straight up from there. Everything to the left of that would be our number. Notice we have our 47 here, and we have our 47 here. And we just ignore anything to the right of that. And that would also give us our number. Okay, so on this next example, we are going to use a place value chart to rename numbers. We are going to be looking at 4,600. So we're going to come over to our place value chart over here. Once again, our place value chart shows us our periods. Um, as this purple period, we have our ones period, which has ones, tens, hundreds. We then have our thousands period, which has thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands. And then we have our millions period, which has millions, ten millions, and hundred millions. So we're going to look at our 4,600 and we're going to place this in our chart right here so we're going to go 4,600 and we're just going to put it in our chart now it doesn't specifically say what we need to name this at so we are just going to look at our chart here and see what we could name it as if we take for instance and we look at our chart here we know that we have 4,600 0 tens and 0 ones, but we want to look at it as, say, hundreds. How many hundreds do we have? Well, as I said before, we could simply just underline our hundreds column, come up through our chart there, and we can see that through our chart here we now have a 46 so we have 46 hundredths and we just ignore our zeros over here so we get 46 hundredths so our 46 there is the same as or 4600 is the same as 46 hundredths However, we can look at it at other things too. So we're going to I'm just going to switch the pen here to a green pen. And what if I wanted to do it as tens? So I would draw my line here for the tens underneath the tens column and go up. And as you can see here, we then have we'd include the 6 here and the 0 here. We now have 460 tens. So 4,600 is the same thing as 460 tens, or 460 groups of 10. So if we multiplied 46 by 100, we would get 4,600. If we multiplied 460 by 10, we would get 4,600. It's just a simple way in which we can use our place value chart to figure out uh, or rename numbers. We can use renaming numbers in solving problems. On our next one here, we have 205 tens. So because we have 205 tens, we're just going to look here at our table here. We're going to put our 205 tens underneath here in in the columns in which it would go in. Because it's 205 tens, that 5 has to be in the tens column. So we're going to take our pen here and we are going to write our 5 in the tens column. And then we're going to put in our 200. So we get our 0 and our 2. We get our 205 in there and we're going to put our 0 here at the end. Now, 205 tens is the same thing now as 2050. So 
this would equal the same thing as 2,000 and... Eh, I forgot my zero. I'm sorry. I'll erase that. Uh, sometimes that happens. 2,000, zero hundred, five tens, and 50. So 2,050. Um, on this last one down here, we have our 42 hundreds. And because we have our 2 right here is in its the hundreds, 42 hundreds, our 2 right here needs to go in our hundreds place. So we're going to come over here and we're going to find our hundreds place. Here's our hundreds place right below the 0. So we're going to put our 2 in our hundreds place. And then we're going to put our 4 in our thousands place and fill in our zeros. And in standard form, that number, 4,200, is then 4,200. So we just name that as 4,200. And that is how we use the place value chart to help us rename numbers. On our next slide here, we are going to actually use what we've learned to solve a problem. So, on this problem, we have Fred's class sold 450 candy bars during their school fundraiser. There were 10 candy bars in each box. How many boxes did they sell? Now, if you went to school in the past, uh, most parents learned that you could solve this problem using division. So, you could take... 450 and you could divide it by 10 and solve that however it is much simpler than that we have as it says here we have 450 candy bars that were sold and in the boxes there were 10 in each box so how many boxes did they sell we take our 400 and our 50, 450, and then we are going to look at our tens column, because we're looking at tens, we're just dividing it by tens, so we're going to look over here at our tens column here. So I'm going to put a line underneath our, uh, line underneath our tens column here, and a line up through there. We see now that it's 45. There are 45, 45 boxes. Because 10 times 45 is going to equal 450. There's 450, or there's 45 groups of 10 in 450. So that's just one simple way in which we can use this uh, renaming numbers to solve mathematical problems.